Renoir-inspired paintings of dancing couples will be added to this beautiful collection right here in front of the Hamilton train station. Drivers now have two more awe-inspiring reasons to pull over and pay attention to the decor of Sloan Avenue. Two new partners have just joined this Hamilton dance. Local sculptor Seward Johnson has entitled this lovely couple steps, Time for Fun, and this discreet dance floor conversation, Whispering Close. These faces may seem familiar as they're replicas of the elegant men and women inside world-renowned French artist Pierre-Auguste Renoir's masterpieces. The similarities are uncanny, though there are still slight differences. See here the Time for Fun monumental is modeled after Renoir's 1883 Dancing the Country oil painting. In Johnson's replica, the lady's smile is not as bright, but she's clearly enjoying the steps and tight hold of her partner. Johnson has very closely imitated the color, texture, and movement of the men and women's period costumes. The Whispering Close monumental is modeled after Renoir's 1883 Dance in the City oil painting. Here, Johnson has taken the liberty of changing the color of the woman's dress to blue, while still making the painstaking effort to replicate the creases and lining of her dress. While the man in the sculpture is still whispering, he's a little more subtle in Johnson's vision than in Renoir's painting. This turn-of-the-century monumental is designed after Renoir's 1883 dance at Bougival. Johnson has captured Renoir's depiction of the enrapture of this man with this woman. The costumes in the painting and life figures are the same color and design. Johnson even paid special attention to replicate the details of the purple flowers attached to the woman's hat. The executive director of the Johnson Atelier, Charles Ode, was on hand to help with the installation of the two new additions here on Friday. These are all made as life-size pieces first, and then we do a technique where we enlarge them. These are all 20 feet tall, so they're very large, and the bases that are on them weigh about 15,000 pounds, so that they can withstand about 150 mile per hour winds. Executive Director Ode explains that the play of time and illusion has always fascinated Johnson. By making these sculptures, he's allowing the public to step into a world they've only seen in two dimensions, but can now experience with their full senses. Reporting in Hamilton, Sibyl Morancy, WZBN News.